Welcome to Primary YPWW, Lesson 1. I do not own the rights to this music. Today's topic is Daniel's vision. Our lesson scripture is coming out of Daniel chapter 7, verses 9 through 14. And that reads, I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. Thousand thousands ministered unto him, and ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The judgment was set, and the books were opened. I beheld then, because of the voice of the great words which the horn spake, I beheld even till the beast was slain, and his body destroyed, and given to the burning flame. As concerning the rest of the beast, they had their dominion taken away, yet their lives were prolonged for a season and time. I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven and came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him. And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away, and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. The memory verse for today's lesson is Daniel chapter 7 verse 14. And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away, and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. The target for today's lesson. The Lord wants children to know that the kingdom of God is established forever. The introduction says, God sent many prophets to warn the children of Israel. They should obey the true and living God. If they return to him, they would be protected. If not, they would be captured by their enemies. Many did not serve God. They rejected the prophets. They went into captivity. It was God's judgment for them. But God showed Daniel his plan through dreams and vision. What's the problem? God showed Daniel a vision. Four beasts, a lion, a bear, a leopard, and one with iron teeth and ten horns. They represented great kingdoms on earth. Daniel said, I beheld until the thrones were cast down. This meant that all of the kingdoms were destroyed and passed away. Then Daniel saw the kingdom of Jesus Christ. His kingdom would last forever. God reminded and reassured Daniel by a vision. By this, we were also reminded to put our trust, hope, and total faith in Jesus. Daniel's vision revealed God's kingdom is eternal. He is always in charge and his rule will never end. Think on this. Daniel called Jesus the son of man who came on the clouds of heaven. He said he was given dominion and glory in his kingdom. All people, nations, and languages shall serve him. His kingdom shall never pass away and cannot be destroyed. This confirmed that all believers have access to God's eternal kingdom in heaven. The phrase all people did not mean everyone will go to heaven. It meant that all kinds of people, everyone who accepts Christ, are his people. The questions for today's lesson, and you can search the scriptures and get help from a friend, a teacher, or a family member. Number one, 
What did God's prophets warn the children of Israel? What was God's judgment? Number two, what four beasts were in Daniel's vision? What did the beast represent? Question three, who had an eternal kingdom? Who can go to the eternal kingdom in heaven? God bless you. And thank you for joining me today. Remember, John chapter 3, verse 16.